Callow or Chinatown on Med, Shay on Sniper, and Evil on Spy as we're getting live right here. Alright, now for this first mid fight, we know Bull of Mayo is a very aggressive down man. Look for him to play aggressive out of Shudder and call for a lot of heavy damage as everyone on Candy tries to collapse early. I'll let you take away the mid fight, Nick. Sure, yeah, Bull gets the mid really early. So we will see this. Bull has sticks on Shudder early, but uh, Rewind is going to dodge those. Demento going in forward, going to get his Dead Ringer popped as uh, Evil gets caught out on ramps. He's going to be the first one down this mid. Spam being exchanged right now, but Arts is going to go down. Demento on that Ambassador off of Bats, actually playing it old school. Going to take out the double pick. Eddie misses his jump off of Shudder, but no harm, no foul as KNG is running in to take this mid fight. Yeah, and as we see there, it really is all about early aggression with Candy. Bull of Mayo gets damaged down, and immediately you see Jacob running forward to the Ambi. Uh, we see Banny running onto the roof to try to get some damage, and they do take over the mid-fight very clearly. As we see, Shay does get a counter pick onto Kamenglia, so that's going to signal a repush from Rewind here. Yeah, they're already quickly coming out of Shudder. Arts moving on to point with Pop and the rest of his team. Shay landing another pick onto Space Ghost. Uber's going to get forced out of KD right now, training on both sides. The frags are heavily in Candy's favor as Rewind has dropped four. Kalo with a bit of a late pop there. Bolt getting really good stickies off. Exa gonna go down. Evil's close and, and he does the med. Oh, comes in right at the end. He's gonna have to take out Nurse. He barely uh, misses getting Bowl. So a successful defense from K and D in the short term. So with their med going down, Rewind should have Uber at here as China was able to escape out to bats. Yes, and that was an unsuccessful repush just because the Uber was so expertly used by Nursey to keep the players alive and milking it. Uh, it looks like Rewind is trying for a dry push out here very quickly. Yeah, they know. It's, it feels like they know that they have Uber at and they're just kind of forcing this up right now. You keep it getting sniped off of ramp means that there's really not going to be too much candy you can do about the Space Ghost seems to have been abandoned. Rain going to come in on the bomb and take him out. River, uh, excuse me, no, he will get that. And there goes Evil getting Comanglia off of Bats right now with the Revolver onto Nursey. She will be saved by Banny, however, and no danger for her right now. Bit low, though, as Candy trying to edge point, but uh, Rewind, despite being down three players, is holding this right now. Yeah, and we see Exa with the minion shutter, also with Shay, and that's very hard to deal with if you're Candy right now. They have no way to force it out. They have no Demento to go sap it right now. And we see Banny going behind trying to take care of it, and he does take the mini out. So Candy with starting to get forward with Bowl of Mayo now, and they will take this point pressure as Eddie jumps the house. The Uber comes out from Rewind here. Yeah, Nursey though, right at 99, will get it in time, not forced to use immediately either. Pablo not doing enough damage. Uber popped onto Space Ghost, so not going to be the biggest threat. Banny gets the rest of it, chases into Shudder, takes out Exa to knock out that wrangled mini sentry. Evil behind, trying to revolver. I believe that was Nursey down, not sure. Not getting too much for Brain in on the bomb. Nursey gets a good serve onto the back of Ramp as Space Ghost catches the point. Evil will take him out and come angry in Shudder, actually. With Demento and Scratchy going down as well, while having been stabbed at earlier, it's prime for uh, Rewind to come in with a repush. Yeah, and that, that fight looked very good at the beginning for KND because they got the late delayed Uber and they got to defend the point. They got to retake the point, rather. But so many of the post frags, the post fight frags, went in the favor of Rewind, and they're going to recap here, hoping to even out the time of it. Yeah, Etni coming in with a bomb, trying to find something on the point, but River's going to send that rocket right back at his face. I like what Danny did about taking, you know, chasing it to Shudder to take down Exa, really remove that wrangled mini, but it just felt like Rewind was finding those frags in the post fight. Etni and Rain fighting each other, both going to bring each other down to about 20. Not too much doing, though, as uh, Candy is moving forward. Nursey back on Uber, both teams equal. Andy has good point friends. Uber's gonna come out of rewind first. There's some pop shortly thereafter. Banny going in deep, trying to take out that heavy. Not gonna find him yet, as really no frags have been exchanged. Candy maintaining point presence in this post fight, though, will come down with the point, even though they do lose a couple members. So, normally the defensive team, when you push these kind of points, has the advantage because the offensive team has to pop Uber first. But if you notice, Rewind was playing so far back on that ramp with their sniper and their medic basically in lobby. So, that, because of that, Candy got a lot of free point presence they could use to just get the Uber out first and they retake the point. Rewind does push out back here, though, with the drive push. Yeah, really trying to pace up in this game. Candy, though, gonna have a decent enough defense. Taking out Rain, Carson, Arts, and River, on pretty short order. Bowl and Comangli going down is gonna hurt this defense. But right now, it doesn't look like the major pushing classes are up for Rewind. Pablo trying to edge it. We'll get the point pretty close. Going to be forced to resort to pistoling Space Ghost off, and it looks like it's going to work as Rewind will come down to it. An evil coming in from behind on ramp. He will weave through Zukima and stab Nursi. So nearly full Uber, actually pretty much full Uber at his China gets right now for Rewind. 
And with a minute on each team's clock right now, Rewind's looking in prime position to take this round. Yeah, Bull going down early really let, uh, when Arch of Spain came to the fight, really let Axa and Arch of Spain take over that fight as they do get the pressure and the point captured. And because of that distraction from the pressure, Evil got a good stab on Inertia, giving him full advantage here. Now, it is on Candy's onus right now to really get the point back, and they need to force this Uber out. So Bull's looking for spam as Banny tries to get on the roof. They do force this Uber out with that, and it looks like Candy are looking to just get out from Bats and Shutter here. Yeah, China got actually sent flying into the point, thanks to, I believe that was a stick, he may have been a backstab, didn't exactly see, but uh, with that Uber being forced out, Candy's gonna move in and try to take point for them. They are able to pick up Arts and Shay in that fight, so... You know, Cypher and Demo, major classes going down. Candy will recap here in a really well executed play by them. They basically flip the switch and Nursi now has, you know, near full add over uh, over the rest of Rewind and it's their turn to hold. Yeah, one more push is all it takes though for Rewind to win this. So they need to build this Uber and not get picked off. Maybe look for entry frags and coordination to force this Uber out early to get themselves an advantage. It looks like they're walking up bats right now as their spy is fighting under bats. If he goes down now, that's going to be very bad. Because then I'm going to force push as Arts bombs in. They're just looking to try to force this Uber with a bomb, and it does not work. Candy holds their Uber here. Phenomenal deny. Arts got sent flying away from that. No opportunity to do damage, and Rain killed himself on his own rocket. I think there was a reflect going on there, and Nursi just not in position to even be uh, hit. China has come up on Uber though, so as time's spinning out around 15 seconds, we should see the last push coming out of Rewind right here. They're moving up on point. Fanny's in deep, trying to get it forced early. Will somewhat succeed as Nursi pops the save bowl. It's a melee going down on the fight, but frags are going in Candy's favor. Carson and Shay both down as Yukima moves in to take over for the herd bowl. Eddie's gonna go down, but damage is being traded back for Exa and Rain now. Ch uh, China's gonna go down as well. Scratchy, oh, now that Space Ghost, excuse me, having a really good presence on this, will finally go down, but it's just evil left against Nursi, <laughs> Bowl, and Scratchy. He will not be able to pull off a 1v3, and Candy takes the first round in a nail biter. Yeah, that uber exchange was very close, but the post frags just went down for Candy's favor. Etni got a bomb behind, he got the sniper pick, and he got a lot of damage out before he did go down uh, off a rocket. And uh, it looks like new rollout bowl again is very fast. He's looking to get aggressive, and he has a trade equal damage onto arts. Yeah, River is going to actually reflect the sticky back. May have saved the demo there. Not sure. It's Banny and Etni going deep. Etni actually going to go down immediately, but Comangli able to snipe out arts, taking the, that demo down. Tsukima getting really far in, gonna go forward, but Evil on the backside takes out Space and Bowl before Butter Knight and Tsukima for his own 1v3 combo 3k. Couldn't get it on the uh, couldn't get it on the overtime fight, but it'll make up for it on the mid, as that mini nearly takes out River. But uh, with that happening, Nursi will escape with her life. But the mid fight will come down in the favor of Rewind. Yeah, Arts of Spain getting sniped out there early was so bad, but Evil's 3k just made it all better. You'll notice that at the end, the mini century was basically 1v4ing at the end, because, you know, there's no demo man. But uh, that massive play from Evil does allow them to get this mid fight capture. Yeah, although right away, Zakima goes in for a bit of a second ramp, not going to find too much as KD, ignoring that kind of gets forward. Art launched away from the Uber onto the enemy ramp. Ooh, he was so able low. to save him. Yeah, just at a sliver of health, 10 HP or so. Banny has the better Uber and will take out Pablo and Art, though kind of uh, ending his bar of time. Moving in comes Carson. Banny's gonna hide, look for an arrow, not gonna get it. Andy coming down with cap time though. Looks like they will end up with the point. Lost a couple players to do it, but uh, they're in Bring there with Rain. Yeah, coming in with a big bomb over roof. Takes her out right around barrels. And with Nursi and then Bowl falling to Shay right after. It's gonna be an immediate retake coming in for Rewind. Yeah, the fight looked so good for Candy at the start because Arts got launched, a lot of the Ubers used saving him, but at the end, Chinatown, or, uh, excuse me, Carson being pocketed just walks up to point, mows down a lot of people, and then they came in. Back then, Demento does manage to kill Chinatown, so Nursi will have the advantage for this fight. Yeah, it felt like most of the med picks were going in favor of Rewind, but, uh, with Jacob finally coming in and able to get some work done, there will not be heals for another, uh, geez, China's coming up now, got a good respawn wave. So he'll be up already, but Candy is already on point right now. Not too much edging as the Exa and that Wrangled Mini are proving to just be a nuisance. Heals back in on ramp for Rewind, but Candy already has presence. Bull and Zuki doing their best to try to capture this, and it looks like they will come down as, yeah, Rewind has rotated off of ramp, moving into lobby, trying to get back on bats to be ready for the repush. Yeah, Eddie got a bomb off an Exa there that forced the Mini to get taken out, and uh, really let Candy take space on the point. They do have a pick right now with Demento into Carson, so it's going to be a while before they can repush. Uh, Rain does trade with that Niso. Uh, that's just going to stall the push even more, as Kamengla kills Shay, even stalling more. But it looks like Rewind just looking to dry push here, they really want to force this Uber out. 
Yeah, I want to point out that one of the things we saw on product in week one was that Rewind is just really good at walking forward onto the point, and we're kind of seeing that here right now. Why we've had such an exciting back and forth game, they're just willing to walk forward, even if they don't necessarily have all the advantages you would expect. They'd be able to kind of force them back right there just by sheer force of, you know, picks. But as China comes up on Uber right now, we will probably Ooh, see some drop. Extreme, but oh, oh, ball with the trap. Was that on Shutter? I think it was. Yeah, it was just on Shutter. Oh, that's All the frag is going in Candy's favor here as that trap just completely <laughs> demolishes any hope they had on that push. And Nursey still has Uber. So yeah. they're going to need to coordinate a play here with Soldier, Demo Man, Spy, anything to force this Uber out. Otherwise, this round is looking really grim. Speaking of demolished Rain's bombs, you are going to hit that Reflect, hit him with the uh, Reflect air shot and end that, not really even able to damage Nursey. As, Evil uh, is crossing here as Rain looks to get a buff. They really need this bomb to work. Oh, Evil not gonna, goes in early. Yeah, it was on the skies too. Missed the uh, missed the stab onto Comanglia. Not gonna help Rewind's chances. There's Rain's bomb here. Yep, there's the bomb. Gonna take out Comanglia at Mach 8 before going down. So Uber's just gonna come out here. To do. Yeah, Uber's gonna get popped out onto Banny. China is in a pretty safe position on bats, but Nursey and Banny are in deep. Yeah, Nursey gonna have to back out. Doesn't want to get caught in there by that pyro. Banny may actually escape right now. Gonna find Shay on ramp. May, uh, won't have to take him out as he runs back in there. Will eventually go down as Rewind uses that to kind of get forward. China now finally coming out with the Uber at a mere 17 HP, even lower, honestly. Pablo chasing out through ramp. Nursey safe, though, as Tsukima and Space goes will escape with their lives. Evil not able to find anything on the backside. That was a massive play from Demento there, because the frags were going in Rewind's favor. They didn't really have to pop that Uber to save the, to save the point, but Demento came in from Shutter of the Revolver, forcing Ch Chinatown low enough that he did have to pop there. So now Nursey's going to have a big advantage coming into this repush. Yeah, sitting at about 40% right now. Candy not even waiting as the rapid pace of this game continues. This Pablo getting forced off the of roof, Banny coming in with the frag, able to take him out. Rain also down, so no flank for Rewind as they're just going to get bullied off of ramp. Scratching going to be the only one going down to Shea, getting a little cheeky peeking him from Bats. Candy has the point now, and with time almost in their favor, and that Uber out on Nursey, once again, the onus is going to be on Rewind to come back here. Yeah, not having that Uber there made all the difference, and it looks like they are just going to wait, uh, Rewind will just wait for Chinatown to get Uber here for them to repush. Uh, very still right now, as we just wait for that Uber to come up. Demento does get picked off, but uh, we wait right now for the push to come in. Exo's got his mini wrangled set up. It's going to take down the op opposing mini, so that's going to free some space up on the point. Paulo gets sniped. That's and it looks like the Ubers right are there. even, and they're going to go for this trade soon. They have to. Yeah, Rain seconds. coming in with the bomb, not going to find anything. Can't even damage Nursey. Banny getting close as well. Ooh. Art's going to get sniped out before the Uber gets popped. China oh, bold the team. Bull, though, equalized. Uh, Nursey's going to pop out onto Banny. Space goes going down on the back end. As Shea gets a flash, smart flashing out of China. Nursey and Banny are really the only ones the left mini in there. The demolishing get everyone. In, and yeah, Mini absolutely doing work. So much damage. Shea able to take out Comanglia as well, make sure that uh, his med doesn't go down, and Rewind will come down with the cap. Overtime for K&D, though, and with a minute left on the clock, both meds should be able to come up with at least one more Uber. Yeah, Shea round. picked off Bull and Etni on that push, and then he wasted all of Banny's time and got a big flash, so they just got to that point. The really good Uber fight. Uh, Uber's an advantage for uh, Rewind right here, but Candy's looking to drive push to get point time. They do have a lot of time to work with, but they need to start now. Yeah, I mean, there are, it's a good job of them to get up here. They need to rely on Nursey not going down, as China's really close. Bolt's gonna go down. Suki gets taken out by the Frontier Justice Prince. Demento going down as well. And Komangli into the Frontier Justice as well. Exa coming up big, not showing that that mini is not just a one-trick pony. As China comes up on Uber, Nursey's sitting at 65, coming up to 70. Should have Uber by the time we get into overtime. But yeah. uh, not too much gained off of that, you know, kind of dry push as they went. Yeah, the open. fight looked bad, but as long as Nursey kept her Uber charge, right it's all fine. Nursey's very low here. She has to back up right now. She's not healing to get this Uber. She's only at 90. She does hook back up with Banny, and they're looking to go back in with this. The early pop from uh, from Rewind, forced by Demento once again. Nurse or Candy's Uber is better here, but do they have the point presence? They might have it. River, Exa, and Callow. Now Carson all going down. Great collapse out of K and D right there. Not sure exactly what forced China to pop that early. It was Demento he, again, I think. Was it really? It looked yeah. like he was at he was at full health, I'm pretty sure. When he used as I a, think he might have just been scared of a spy call and didn't want to drop. It that's... didn't look like he was in much danger, but yeah, you know, that's a calls are it very like hectic. That, it feels like if that Uber went off a little bit later, they had a much they better had, chance. Yeah, exactly. And granted, because of this format, you know, these halves are to three, so we do one BO5 rather than the uh, you know standard RGL half at two kind of 
QGC rules, but Evil going in with an aggressive D cloak. Gonna be caught out by Tsukima, but still takes out Komanglia. Shay and Evil also gonna go down though, so both snipers neutralized already. As uh, Rewind is taking point on, or taking presence at least, on this mid fight. Kane gonna respond. Art's getting stabbed out. Jacob not having to go down after killing Ko uh, Shay, kind of the difference there. Space Ghost goes down in return though, with that heavy down, with the, and Carson still being up. Rewind's gonna have the presence to muscle them out of this. Yeah, Arts of Spanning got to mid that time as fast as Bull of Mail. I don't know if he was faster or Bull was slower, but Bull of Mail's health didn't really go above 150 that entire mid fight, so he was very hurt, hard for him to get damage. And even with Arts getting stabbed at the tail end there, they had enough damage down to just take the fight. Yeah, so, you know, good on them. Uh, both teams are coming out with good plays, Rewind just being a little better here. And, you know, this is kind of map point for them right now, so they do need to come back here. Even if they're going to lose, they want to get points. Jacob not going to get stabbed, Surf's out! Ooh. Really, or actually starts off of, uh, I think that was Rain's own rocket jump as Uber's get traded on point right now. Not too much doing. It looks like Space Ghost has a solo. He's gonna get blasted off by the air blast though. But no. Stab on Chinatown. Yeah, Jacob in shutter waiting. He's gonna take out Exa as well. And Arts! Three K coming out of Jacob. Evil had been kind of uh, running wild over the first few rounds, but Jacob finding his momentum, doing a lot of work here, and it's a route coming out uh, for, uh, for KMD. Yeah, both spies right now are third on the scoreboard, putting in work for their teams. Uber's slightly adva advantageous for KND. It's close enough that they uh, that uh, Rewind will be able to drive push here, and we do know how much they love to drive push. So we'll see if they do drop down to point here. Pablo and Rain are already ready. Rain's oh, a sticky trap from Bull gonna take him out early. That's numbers to side. Pablo's edging with it, but it looks like they're just gonna wait at this point as they did lose numbers for their drive push. Yeah, X again, they out as well. So we need to help kind of support this push from Shutter. As a K and D just, you know, doing their own defense. Banny gonna get forward, actually, oh, no, it does enough damage, and uh, Komengli is gonna force Pablo to go down to that body shot. There's some awkward positioning. Shay and Shudder not gonna find anything, going for a bit of an aggro peak, and he forces him out. And, uh, yeah, China at 85 coming up on this Uber. Would have liked to have maybe seen a sack, but I think we've seen so far sacks not working too well for Rewind. Comanglia getting stabbed, Rain coming in, Ooh, will that's force, a force Nersi, Ooh, really good timing on that. KMD had moved forward to defend the point as the sack went in, and this should be a better Uber coming out of Rewind right now, it will be. KMD calls that, and they back out of that point real quick as Rewind starts to tap. Bull is pressuring very hard here, and he does have Space Ghost on the flank with him, Bolt does get taken down though, that, that should really end this this charade right here, as Nersi realized to run for her life here, being chased by Pablo, getting taken down. Eddie bombing in, seeing if he can get anything back. He will pick Sniper, that's about it. Yeah, that was a questionable re-push from KND. They really didn't have the numbers or health to do it, and all it did was get their medic killed, really. Yeah, you know, it felt like Bull being on bats was kind of a little ahead of the game to try to get some spam on there, maybe get a get a cheap kill or something, but it felt like the rest of his team wasn't online with that, and it was just Nursi and Space on ramp. Space gets taken down in a 1v7, as heavy as will do, and nothing left for Nursi to do, but... Uh, Uber advantage in the favor of Rewind. Kane drive push aggression. Ignoring that, yeah. Nursi getting hit with a lot of spam, forced out, so heals cannot be aggressive here. Space Ghost barely makes it out to eat his Ooh, sandwich. Ooh, evil stabs Nursi. That's yeah. so big. Evil coming in from behind takes her out, and Rewind. It feels like is finally kind of gaining some momentum here, able to hold the point for really more than you know 30 seconds at a time. As the, they should, uh, they should take the lead in the clock in just a few seconds. So, as well, no defense has longer spawn timers. So, what KND tries to do all the time when they're at dis, I like this, is they try to like get people on point just to get any picks they can that'll give them advantage when they do have Uber. And as long as Nursi doesn't die, that's an okay strategy. Because if they don't have Uber, they're not pushing the point anyway. They just want to trade frags with faster spawn times. But Nursi getting backstep there ruins the whole plan. As you see, and he goes in and he does get the drop. They really needed that after the last field push. Yeah, they send four in, and I mean. They don't get anyone else, but they find their target, so China going down, not popping there. Bit of a detriment. River gonna go down as well, actually, so that's two on the board for KND. With, again, those fast spawns you just mentioned, and the level 3 telly, I believe, that is out of scratchy. They're gonna have all their men back on the front line ready to fight. Bull getting some spam over, not gonna find anything, but scratchy going down. Is gonna hurt. Evil's out no, too. Uh, yeah, evil out. So he could come back around. It's like he's he's on his own. Yeah. Ooh, he gets he's killed. Gonna, uh, not gonna find the stab at Bull. Getting sniped out in kind of the chaos. Uber's still gonna go oh, out. Oh. Jacob coming in takes out Arts and Carson. China gonna get uh, pistoled down by Banny. And all of the kills are coming in Candy's favor. Only three up for Rewind. Make that two. Soon gonna be maybe one. Now evil has respawned at this point. But it's gonna be eight going down for. Uh, for Rewind, KND coming back in with the point. Now they're in a good position as China went down and they have solid add, but they know that the time is not in their favor. They're getting super aggressive in the entirety of KND combo moving on to bats. 
Yeah, and this is what you do when you have a lot of time left on the clock. They need to stall for a minute, basically. Even and uh, rewind will get their Uber in time to push with this, but they just try to you know buy some seconds before push. Force rewind to kind of just scope the place out, make sure it's safe for the med to walk. An aggressive bomb comes out. They will get nursing, and that's going to cause a dry push here from rewind. Yeah. Really good bomb out of them. They got aggressive, and it's not a bad call, but they dropped a bunch of players, backed out, didn't have their full squad to kind of get vision on bats and defense with the bomb. And it looks like Rewind's gonna come back in, most of Key and D, you know, either dying or backing off, and they're gonna cap here with only 14 seconds left on the clock, you know. Rounds looking to go looking to go in their favor. Yeah, and that's always the risk of a forward hold is if you're that forward for that long, you kinda risk not being in proper positions when they get back, because you can not position deny that bomb and their meta goes down, and they have to do a desperation push here. Full Uber just had. Arts and Shay, and there's already five down on the side of Rewind. So Candy swarming back in right now. They have Uber Rivers getting good W and one, and will take out Nursey as well. But both teams are down. Only three up for uh, for Rewind. Rivers finally gonna die. The rain is basically all on him right now. Maybe if Evil can get him from behind, gonna take out Scratchy, but he's forced out seconds. lower. Yeah, no. Candy gonna come back in with the cap, be able to uh, avoid losing the round outright, yeah. but. Still, yeah. Cap not coming in, giving Rewind time to respawn. Now, Demento went really big there, but that was a full Uber dissad, and what lost them that point definitively was Chinatown not getting a flash on Carson there. So Carson went down, they had no one to clean up the damage. So Candy have a lifeline in this round that they really have no business being in at this point. Yeah, with this much time left, Ubers are only going to come in right around overtime, so both teams likely going to try to dry push. Jacob going down eliminates that you know, potential 3k, because like, Arts and Pablo already getting aggro, want to get some of that cap time down ahead of time. Uh, Scratchy not going to find any minis, but Rain going into the bomb, I believe, not going to find too much. Space Ghost getting sniped out, but Pablo and River are going to do the trades. Three down on Rewind, two on K and D right now. Here's the plenty of Justice gets doing damage, but Frags... Comegly is still going. up and watching. Yes, going in Candy's ever going to land. Frags. Oh, that's three headshots in short order. Shay going to go down, China getting taken out, and it looks like just barely we are going to see the 3-0 coming in for uh, the new and reforged K and D. Yeah, they stole that round. They got that. They got that one back from the clutches of defeat. It was so close, and then a few misplays from Rewind, where they didn't flash the proper players. Jacob went off that entire round, and Candy do manage to get that round back, and they do force a 3-0. Yeah, really, you know, just kind of tragic. It feels like for Rewind, since so many of those rounds were so close. You know, kind of coming into this, I did have Candy as the favorites to win here with that Banny pickup, with you know all the main classes coming back on. It'd be hard, really, to not say that they, you know, have a really good chance at winning this. I was really surprised how well Rewind was able to, you know, kind of keep even with them, and the absolutely blistering pace of that game really, I think, cemented that. It's just unfortunate that, you know, we see all these double overtimes, but never able to exactly take that round. Yeah, and they, Rewind did very good to keep up with K and D's aggression that entire time with their own aggression. Small mistakes happen. And they, they cause, you know, the small mistakes will, you know, make you lose a whole round. With a full uber advantage, they should have had that for sure. But, you know, sometimes it just doesn't go your way. The fights are unlucky. And we will move on to Lakeside here. Now, this map is very flank-centric, more so than Asheville. And uh, I did play against Rewind on this map, and I can tell you what they're going to do with Bathhouse, everyone's favorite Highlander room. Real Look, quick though, I do oh, want to touch on the logs from that last the half. The logs, yes. How we do I have those pulled up, and I feel we like can the uh, show some spies here. Yeah, although I feel like the first thing that's going to kind of jump out at you when you look at this is Art Suspania not having a good game, coming in with a six and twenty, three eighty five DPM. Bold not having the best game KD wise, but compare Art's three eighty five DPM to Bull's five, nearly five seventy, and you see a big reason of why K and D was able to kind of win those down to the wire fights of just bull being able to get off more damage stay alive a little bit more and you know really come in with the difference there as the uh, ultimately the damage difference between these two teams was about 5000 almost all of that coming directly from bull yeah, and bull of mayo is definitely a very aggressive player he loves getting that damage as much as he can sometimes to the detriment of his team uh you know like that time he got caught out on fans but in the end getting that much damage and aggression is very good for highlander you know he has so much pressure out and it's able to help him take out take over the game. And yeah, you know, just kind of looking at the other things, Rain had a really good game, getting 28 frags, outfragging Antony. Unfortunately, though, nearly double the deaths, meaning that, you know, he just wasn't able to provide that constant spam damage we saw out of Etni and, you know, presence on the point. Uh, Banny having a good game, kind of as expected. Pablo, not as quite, but when you're going up against a star-studded flank, certainly didn't, you know, drop the ball or anything. But, I mean, yeah, just strong performances from KD all across the board. Comeglia coming in with a 24 and 16, pretty decent stat line for Asheville. 
Shea, you know, it's Asheville's been one of his more problematic maps, I'd say, in the past. But still able to, you know, just barely go positive here. A good sign for him. And, you know, despite the fact that it was a 3-0, teams are only 13 kills apart. And I want to say all of the round timers were over seven minutes. Yeah, which it was is, definitely that's, much closer than the score indicates. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen a 3-0 with round timers that long. Yeah. Impressive, nonetheless, from KD to come out there with the composure to take all the rounds, take every inch that they were given. And, uh, yeah, we do move on to Lakeside here. Uh, very open map, Bull of Mayo again, very aggressive player. Arts of Spanian on the flip side, known for his blind pipes over the point. Nick knows about a few of those. Hey, hey. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, combo fights on this map, definitely very complicated, but I want to touch on Bathhouse here, just because you're going to see, I think the majority of the action you're going to see in Bathhouse in this match. Uh, what Rewind likes to do, from my experience, is they like to just put four people in bathhouse early they like to escort rain and exa in there and then once they have control of that bathhouse they'll look to just collapse onto the point if they can and then after they you know you use their pyro their sniper uh also watch for shay to roll at ruins because shay peaks likes to peak uh, bathhouse early to help give them that numbers advantage there and once they get that bathhouse they'll look to just roll you over on both sides they'll flank you and then they can set up just rain and exa in bathhouse and it's very hard to take that back unless you rotate players yourself Certainly. I mean, that, that bath hole can be really strong, and I think we saw last time just how much Rewind does like to walk forward, and when they have that control of bath, it can be a really good you know formula to getting that point back, since they can apply pressure from so many angles, they can get someone back onto uh, onto Candy's ruins, but I don't know, the main thing I'm looking for is I just feel like, while Arts may have a better game than he had on Asheville, I feel like all of the factors that went well for K&D last map are just going to kind of be exacerbated here. Etni's ability to stay alive and provide pressure, you know, even... As uh, Rain's, you know, equaling him in kills and damage, that ability to stay alive is always vital on a cough map. Bowl's just, you know, general kind of dominance over the point. Comanglia having a little bit better of a performance than Shea, although both spies, you know, are going to be, I think, big X-factors in this as we come into the mid. Yeah, look for SVS to be much more important in this map. And uh, Etni, of course, is no slouch in uh, bathhouse fighting either. So you're going to see KD also want to try to wrestle that control away from Rewind. We see the rollout here. Bull, once again, is a bit faster than Arts. He gets the first sticky down with health advantage. It looks like fast for, or, uh, Candy are going to be able to pressure the point here. Yeah, Jay is going to get a little forward. Going to be caught out, actually. Not going to find too much. As a bunch of frags have already been traded, Arts, River, and Evil down on one side. Another three down for KD. Look at Bathhouse, though. Completely won by Rewind. We have to see if they'll be able to repush this and get some presence. Yeah, Exa going to barely avoid the cleaver and getting caught out by the sticky trap here. So, Rewind actually coming in with a bit of an advantage here. Candy still having their spawners as Rain comes in with a big bomb onto Nursi. Not going to be able to take her out, but will damage her. Bit of a uh, kind of re-aggression from Candy, going to even out the cap time as this mid is just kind of going really back and forth right now. No one with a clear advantage. Yeah, after Bathhouse was won, it was just as quickly lost as Vanny did clean up Exa and Rain was, you know, called to do a bomb. As Evil does come in drop Nursi, that should be immediately regress regression from Rewind here. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna get ready. Bull coming in on the sack, knowing that all gonna go down. Forces out Chinatown's Uber, barely uh, missing the drop. Only a couple more damage would have been needed. A, uh, we see Pablo gonna come in, finish up a couple kills on point with the rest of Rewind. Comanglia sniping out Carson. Danny's and, in here. Oh, Danny in. Chinatown, yeah. Yeah, coming in from Bath, it looks like. Gonna take out China. Comanglia so and Axa uh, having a, a dodging match right there. Yeah. He does get taken out of the flank by Pablo, and Rewind does win this first very back and forth mid off a crucial play by the spy. On the downside, though, they did lose their meta with those longer spawns. Nursi's going to be looking on about a 20% add as KD has sworn back in. Going to try to re push here. We see uh, Nursi actually getting a saw onto River. So, but no, she does go down. Evil able to come in with the revolver. Takes her out at the end. A bit of a uh, bit, bit of some good work coming in from the rewind flank. Able to kill her again. The point looks Not like it will. Almost. No, here it goes. We'll go down again into Candy's favor. But with Nursi still dead are actually just spawning and will be a pretty fast retake from Rewind, I'd have to imagine. Yeah, Demento a victim of the reverse bomb right there, and a numbers advantage in Rewind's favor they will look to walk onto this point. Look at Comanglia's angle right now, though. This could be dangerous if they don't spot him out. He will get out soon. Yeah, those kind of side angles on Lakeside always really deadly, both for the sniper and, you know, everyone else walking into those sight lines. Never really expect them to be that close, but a lot of the times he can take cover on point, thinking he's going to be on one of the further back sight lines, and then get killed from this really awkward angle. And but now watch Shea, this setup, the setup in Bathhouse. They get yeah, Shay in there, they get the of, combo in there. Speaking of awkward angles, Shay on top of the uh, kind of construction a bit in uh, in Bath, going to find a pick onto a Space Ghost a while ago. But watch this does Demento give up here. He's going to look to decloak. Not oh, gonna, he gets he's gonna spotted get out. out. Oh. 
tragic, but uh, the Uber will get forced out of rerun right now. Dainty getting that much point presence to kind of force it out. Nursey alive and safe in her own spawn. Coming up on 85 right now means once she gets that, it will be a f uh, very large Uber at for k &D. Should see the retake coming in. Yeah, unfortunately for Dementor, Arch Spaniel was not born yesterday. They do manage to keep the point, although they do use the Uber for it. Retake looks to come in from Candy with this full Uber advantage. We're gonna have to see how Rewind decides to defend this. Yeah, the caps, uh, the uh, the capture is already coming in. Evil not gonna be able to find anything as the Uber gets popped out. Kalo back out on his own ruins. A uh, that's popped or Banny sent flying will eventually go down as uh, Nursey unfortunately Nursey down to gotta hearts. go down. Yeah, got a little bit too forward there. I think she got launched in. I'm pretty sure onto uh, onto ruins by a sticky maybe before going down and while Kid can take the point back with their med going down, Rewind's gonna take it back in just a short order. And it looks like Rewind actually kind of proving me wrong and coming out as a stronger team early into this map. I have so much praise for Rewind on their bath back out because so many teams that aren't as good at playing bathhouse will get caught on the way out, you know, by the team with the Uber and they will lose their medic. But their medic does manage to surf out perfectly well, they don't lose any players, and they manage to turn the tables on K and D to get that point back. Yeah, and I mean, again, they're they're now sitting on a very large time advantage. Candy coming back in to try to force this. Uber will get popped out again. Good air blast by Zukima to prevent Carson from dropping down and getting a much more aggressive angle. The uh, Uber will fade out really without too many frags going over, actually. Them losing players. Excellent. People being taken out. But now, Shay able to find Nursey with the bathhouse angle that he loves so much. Look at Banny. Uh, yeah, Banny in the back, finding frags. Carson. There's Jacob in on Callow. Will he not going to be able to find anything? River able to protect his med, but... It's enough of a distraction for K and D to They need cap. to keep Chinatown alive right now. Any bomb does not find her. She's or him. He's still looking. He will crater yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> and Chinatown Komangli, does get out alive here. I thought Komengli might have been able to save uh, save Etni from River with a well timed body shot, but he ends up cratering. Again, though, with Nursey having died and Chinatown having that advantage, Rewind's able to just keep pushing the pedal to the metal, walking forward, getting some cap time, and forcing K and D to respond. Nothing really too permanent advantage by sticking, but that's a lot of cap time for Banny as Evil gets the stab onto Comanglia. Zukima gotta go Zukima. down as Pick well. Pick going big here. Yeah, and the cat's gonna be the cap coming back in for Rewind, and they're the ones with Uber advantage. So even though uh, Demento and Scratchy going down, Obam out of the plane, not gonna be able to find, or Etni, excuse me, not gonna be able to find Kala, will get forced out, and it is a heavy Uber, so not too dangerous. Space Ghost may be caught out at the end of this. Now the palm tree gonna save his there life. There should be some quick regression from K and D here. Rewind lost so many players as they were waiting for that Uber to come in. Banny did a lot of cleanup work, and it is an easy recapture. This uh, full Uber advantage for Nursey as well. They don't have to pop to use back in to capture yeah, this point. They're gonna get right before overtime too, giving them a, maybe a crucial second later on in that fight. Jacob deep in on bats. Ruins looking to go for something soon. But Rewind really, again, not waiting too much. Pablo already aggressive on that far side of point. Banny getting taken out by Shea as well. Means that uh, the rain frag is going to be equalized. Finding Comanglia too. Shea coming up big on Lakeside, helping his team get these picks when they need them. Art's going to get on point with the rest of them. Lots of cap time coming in. I don't think they Uber. realized they were holding back. Yeah, Uber's going to get popped here, and uh, not too many frags though coming in. Pablo really the only one going down as it's primarily on a heavy. No scout, thanks to Banny getting sniped out. So, uh... Space Ghost getting aggressive in the post, gonna find a frag onto Exa. But yeah, Rewind didn't lose any players on that Uber from K and D. They kited it very well. Evil is gonna kill Bold. They're gonna have an advantage here pushing in. Yeah, frags are coming now into Candy's favor a bit, but they still favor Rewind. River in on Banny and Nurse coming with the WM1. Not gonna find any frags, but forces them out. Chinatown's Uber. With Uber, yeah, this should go well for they Rewind. Need to, they need to not force this. Yeah, they they will end up having to use here to kind of save their lives, but Etni. Still kind of lurking around the point, will go down eventually. And the cap is back over. In favor, and yeah, they're going to take the round just like that. Very strong regression coming in. It was so that was such an interesting last Uber exchange because it didn't look like everyone initially knew that if they wanted to force Candy's Uber, they'd have to go bath. But Candy's Uber gets kited so hard, they don't get any frags on it. Uh, Chinatown gets his Uber, and they just take the point back. Yeah, just these rotations coming out of Rewind really strong, you know, able to kite that Uber out without really even knowing where it was coming from. Well, I do feel like both teams have been kind of leaning into the heavy Ubers a little bit too much for the point defenses. I'd like to see someone else in it to get some uh, other players in, but KD going to lose too early. So Rewind's going to take advantage. And, so oh, Bathhouse is done. Yeah, there goes Shay taking out Comanglia as well. Point presence in the favor of Rewind, and Rewind's coming in on this mid fight swinging, looking to take that one round. And uh, kind of Mercy, out. he gets him. And oh, Manny. great bomb. Coming in from behind, Evil as well, going to be in there to su with some uh, support and distraction. And yeah, I mean, I was I was expecting KD to come out here and continue their dominance that we saw in Asheville, but 
It's looking like Lakeside is Rewind's map. Yeah, I want to point out that Scratchy instantly got picked, uh, Comingle instantly got sniped, and because of that, uh, at the end, uh, Demento is also down. Out of only three picks, can't get it back off the point because they have no basket control. Bombs coming in at the China, though Bull getting denied, but Etni doing a good enough job of getting that Uber off. Really no frags to be found. I think Bull ended up kill binding just to get on that respawn faster. Yeah. Comingle is going to go down too, which uh, not really the best or the worst time to die, considering that his team's not going to be able to push, but it does eliminate any uh, kind of jumpstart picks that he might have been able to get in this time. Shea, yeah. though, with an aggressive angle in bathhouse, looking into main. Demento's going on Shea here. Ooh, He's going to get caught. Yep. Yeah, no frag for him right there. And it looks yeah. like KD's going to come out onto Ruins, avoiding that Shea side lane. Rain going down as well, so without the Soldier and the Spy, it's a lot of more safety for Nursey as they start to move up here with 100% Uber. Watch River flanking here. He's looking up. He's going back. Shea gets, uh, Shea gets Banny though. That makes it very hard for Candy to walk up to this point. They don't have high ground. Shea gets Comangli as well. So Shea's dominance here really going to save Rewind this point and get them Uber eventually. Yeah, he's actually being outscored by Comangli right now. Not entirely sure how, but there comes the Uber. Bolt jumping in aggressively. Gonna end up going down. Gets dropped out of that. Has uh, Chinatown able to live for now? Rewind still in control of the point, and it feels Uber. like yeah, KD blew their uh, blew that large advantage they had gotten here. Demento's going for a pick here. He does manage to get Carson. And, uh, yeah. But the Uber still isn't forced out from Chinatown. They Candy really needs to get this. And he's looking for a bathhouse play. They're just looking to get forward on point. There's yeah, Uber, Uber though coming out of Chinatown. Art's moving forward. Gonna take out the bottle on Space Coast. <laughs> thinking about through those fists, and really that's the only frag they're gonna get. A lot of rewind being taken out yeah, in the no uh, kind of pre-Uber there, so they'll be forced to back off. It looks like Chinatown was able to escape. Gonna have some healing up now, but with a really large advantage on Nursey, KD's gonna need to milk this hold for all that they've got if they want to tie up the round score. Yeah, you would think Uber's a curse in, on this map because it seems that every team that you know pops Uber thing they can defend the point just gets kited, and they just end up losing it anyway, and then they're at an now full disadvantage. I want to see the Caboose come in, just, just take a scout into their main. Big fan of that one, but uh, yeah, Candy with the point. Rewind gonna try to get aggressive on it, as we've been seeing them doing. Candy here. Yeah, they're all stacked up in there. Really, Jacob, the only one not in there. Gonna find Rain on his own bats as Evil and Arts go down as well. Comanglia taking that bathhouse sightline away from Shay. Gonna find some picks to kind of stall this push, and without a demo man, it's gonna be difficult. Pablo will get some edging done, but now Comanglia coming up big, getting the Eddie kills. With two as kills well. in the back line. Yeah, good bomb onto the uh, kind of blind side of Rewind, and there Demento goes Demento just unplugs on Obelisk and shoots down Chinatown with like four revolver shots, and that's gonna save Nursey the trouble of using Uber to defend this point. Yeah, and when I said milk this hold for all they've got, that's exactly what they're doing. Really great plays coming out of Candy in succession. That bomb from Etni kind of took off the people watching Kalos back, and then it allows Jacob to just decloak and, you know, gun him down, bit on the receiving end of those three bullets, and it's not fun. I'll tell you that, so still full Uber on the side of Nursey. And it looks like Rewind is going to take the smart choice of trying to aggress this from the far side. Maybe force Candy to come out of bath a little bit before they get Kamengle in. is watching this, though. It's a very difficult silent to peek with a sniper up. And he does pickaxe off. The mini sentry will go down soon to the sticky bomb. Yeah, but oh, there goes Shay getting a counter frag onto Bull right now. So no demo. Maybe they're opening that Rewind was looking for. We will see the Fist of Steel from Carson coming out off point to start edging this. Kamengle is still coming in, but no, he's going to get stabbed. Out from K and D, but it's gonna be out to a pyro and a heavy. But oh, it's not going too well for Rewind right now. As Chinatown isn't gonna die, but the rest of his team in front of him, it looks like will. They still they have, have numbers, of numbers but less though. Health. Yeah. Oh, space, space on this point. point. Gonna take out Pablo, but no one else. More than one. And yeah. Oh, there goes Ed. Bomb Big on the one bomb. more rocket. Ooh, mini sentry denies it. Not able to finish off Chinatown, who now has Uber of his own, so a lot more safety for him. Point though, not yet being capped. Rewind's gonna come back in on it. But after, you know, they will recap, but that was about a two-minute hold from KD with a small time lead. Although, granted, we will see the rewind take that back shortly. Mangle picks off shape, big advantage here pushing back in, and once again, KD needs to force the Uber out early. Nursey's looking to play far back, just get out if they don't get the frags after the Uber. The Uber does get popped out, and they're retreating now immediately. Yeah, no, so good out of them, force that Uber. I don't think China Space Ghost is dead much, here. Uh... Oh, he's getting arrowed in the sandwich, he's alive. Oh, the, the, the clutch save. I didn't think KD or it's Rewind, excuse me, was in too much danger about a pop, but Arts and Rain both gonna get caught out as well Bandy as Ripper and Pablo. Chinatown here. Yeah, there's a lot down on the side of Rewind right Evil now. Evil with but, three oh, kills. Yeah, coming in big on Comanglia, Bowl, and Space Ghost. The point will still go into KD's favor, but with those three kills and the longer spawn time. Right by Etne. Can he say, will he survive here? No, no. two big frags. He comes in, gets two. That's really clutch, because with those three players going down to evil, that was exactly what Rewind wanted to get back in there. But the medic was just out. Job. 
Yeah, so we see Carson on point, but he's alone right now. Trying They're for a no, no heals drive push here. Yeah, Jacob comes they in. They get the Uber the there. Yeah, they do. In fact, I guess KD really wants to hold on to this. Look at that, that... surprise who came up on the back oh. to get Shay. <laughs> Comes at him with a vengeance, really wanting to take him out. And Candy's gonna, I guess, they, they might have felt a little threatened by that. Knowing that Callow had been down, Nursey will retain Ad, but with this much time left, Candy may end up pulling this round out. Zucchini's doing a great job denying point. Gonna no one almost, to do damage here. Oh, uh, River will eventually go down. China Clank Arts going with down. Arts on his Zucchini, he trades, and that's the round. Yeah, KD with the uh, kind of comeback win there, really was a. Uh... <laughs> Really was looking bad for them when they were, you know, down two minutes on the clock. But yeah, but very clutch plays, just picking Chinatown at the optimal moment. So they really never had a good Uber push. Granted, it's very hard on this map apparently, but Candy is managed does manage to keep dominance of the point for a very long time that round in a row. I wanted to say one thing too is that with this round, Candy has secured the overall win in this match, um, having taken that 3-0. As we see, Je Demento going in, not going to find anything, gets caught out, but. Uh, they have secured the overall win with those four rounds. Um, even if Rewind takes the following two, match points are still going to go in their favor. But those rounds still very important, so nothing to kind of scoff over. Zukima comes in with a detonator serve. Not going to find anything. Gets air blasted back. Did provide some space for his team. There comes Edney coming in again onto River. Going to not even take him out as point presence in Candy's favor. Very bad health for Rewind, even though they have more players. Yeah, frags in favor for Rewind, though, and eventually they're going to get healed up. Yeah. China landing those arrows, and it looks like the Uber out. in favor. Ooh, Uber going to get popped out. Chinatown Not... milking here. <laughs> I don't think Fanny. Chinatown had to pop there. Benny didn't hit a single shot. Chinatown's full Yeah, they, they want to find Nursey here, but no, she's going to get out. The uh, Zukima coming back in with the respawn. 22 HP on Nursey there. Getting those air blasts, and that was just felt really awkward on both sides. Didn't yeah. feel like there was any chance of K&D getting too much lasting out of that, and I didn't think they needed to pop. River did a great job of just completely sending Banny off to another planet in that Uber, so it was yeah. just them, no real pressure, but I guess we Small will be Small advantage for Nursey here, they look to just drive push the point. Hopefully they want to get Rewind out before they set up their bathhouse hold. Yeah, and they're coming in really quickly here. It looks like Rewind can't even contest from that. They're going to force to be... Carson's uh, already there. Carson's going to peek this, see if he can catch someone. Yeah, he is alone, though. Oh, no, actually, no, he has someone behind, behind him. him. Yeah, so... He got some support and Rewind doing a good job of kind of holding they both of these areas. They do get their bathhouse hold and they're going to start flanking here. Look at Rain. Yeah, he's coming oh, in flanking. deep. Oh, good one coming out of Zuki there in order to save his uh, save his medic. Arts trying to find Mercy with some spam. Unable to right now as the capture time is going greatly in Candy's favor. China going to get China. stabbed. Really good coming out of the back there as more of Rewind's players fall. It's going to bodies falling off of point. And he's gonna come down with this, but Nursey having full add, they're in a good position to hold this. Yeah, just mastering the drive push there. As soon as Rain goes down on the sack for Nursey, uh, and he gets ready to go into bathhouse. He took it alone, he took it away from Axa, and after that they just collapse onto the point. Demento gets a clutch kill onto Chinatown, and they just got the point back, and now they have a full uber advantage. They're setting a bathhouse hold again. Yeah, we saw them do this. We saw them hold this really well in that last round, able to come back, and they're looking to do it again. Banny and River are going to be traded out, but still most of the KD core able to hold Comiglia with that bathhouse angle. Rain reflected that again so on the bomb to try to force a super. Oh, he was having some more better luck on Ashwell, it felt like, but Zuki's really kind of locked in on him now. Full Bull sniped. Get... Yeah, that could be good, but Shea going down as well. Uber's going to get forced out on Tsukima. Going to uh, get Jacob's going to get in on this. Got the flash. China their medic isn't out, though. Down. They're just going to lose their medic. Yeah, felt like they really, or China needed to be out earlier. Etni got to jump over River's head, get the pack, and take him out. So yeah. KD settling back into this hold that proved so effective last time. Yeah, you it's... can just see, see the difference between these teams. When KD goes for the Uber Force, that's crucial. Nursey's ready to get out there and preserve the, adva pre preserve the advantage. Chinatown not having the same thoughts in mind. And they do lose their medic, and they'll be at well about even Ubers now. Nursey hasn't been building as well, but Komengli is going off here. It's going to delay so much of the ground game. Yeah, and fast forward, kind of trapped on these right stairs. Zukima coming in with a really smart flank to go around, get some damage, and will eventually go down. But Space Ghost able to help clean up the rest of those kills. Etni going forward, not going to be able to find China. Smartly uh, escaping out to spawn this time. But Nursey though, coming up better on the building, has overtaken the Uber lead having nearly a 30% uh, 35 add, so... Yeah, Chinatown wasn't healing when he was backing out there, because they were losing players. Bolt did get killed again, though, so that's a lot a lot of room now that everyone can use to walk onto this point, try to force the super out. Yeah, not sure if they know Nursey has. It's gonna get popped out onto Space Ghost. Nursey gets Nurse that flying out of it, but no real danger with that Uber being popped. Art's gonna go down as well. Space Ghost caught in... Chinatown down. here, and he's behind Chinatown. 
Oh, is he gonna be able to find him? I don't think he knows. Not sure, no, yeah, they don't I don't think they know where each other is. Bull and Nursey being forced to back all the way out to spawn. Rewind coming in with the this point. Be a free retake and hundred percent Uber advantage for Rewind. They need to hold this for a long time if they want to get back into this round. Yeah, I felt like they got out of that a little bit better than, you know, you would have thought. Jacob and Carson within breathing distance of each other on this obelisk, not yet able to uh bump into that cloak spy. But yeah, oh, spy Jacob coming in. Gonna get airbus dead, he's still in behind. They're trying to sack forces Uber. Full HP yeah. on Chinatown scratch, he does get the shots off. What? Why would they force that? China's yeah, China forcing not super necessary. Maybe China he took felt like forty damage from a shotgun shot and forced that one. Maybe he felt or afraid something. of the heavy? I'm not sure. Felt like what you knew Scratchy was going down soon though, so Yeah, but those kind of things, when you have the balls to hold on to that Uber, those are round winning plays if you can get it off. But uh look like Handy will come in here with a full advantage. Rain of that. coming in deep, gonna try to find Nursey early, not gonna get it though. As River, Rain, and Pablo all going in for the sack. To no avail. Bull getting forward here. Gonna start spamming those stickies across. It's a little bit of damage on leading players shade. trying to get this Uber out. They lose their soldier and spy trying to force Nursey, and looks like they're just gonna have to give up the point here. Because of those lost players, it doesn't look like they're gonna get the Uber force out. Yeah, I felt like they tried to, you know, stick their hands in both cookie jars, I guess. I'm saying this analogy wrong. Ended up uh, finding cookies in neither. As, yeah, K and Dino holding point with full Uber. Really, uh, really big uh, kind of. That's the word I'm looking for challenge for Rewind to overcome to get yeah. this point back through Nurse's Uber, but Shay taking out Komengli is going to be a start. Yeah, and now it looks like. Ooh, good snipe for Shay onto Space Ghost. That's going to give him a lot of space. They are on the attacking side, though. They need to force this Uber out. Edney with a high bomb and looking to get this Uber force early. He's going to. Ooh, he's not going to quite trade the soldier. Looks like they're going to look for a trade. Either way, the Ubers get popped out onto point. Uh, the Uber. It does look like Rewinds is a bit worse here, yep. Banny's getting bounced around like it's his bar mitzvah on the point by River. He does have a long Uber, but he doesn't get a frag with it. Oh, not. Jacob not able to find the stab onto China, dodge him out, not even knowing, and Evil kills him with the revolver. Just Banny. Yeah. Unless yeah. Rewind can hold this for the next, or unless Rewind can hold this for the next 50 seconds, you know, Candy's gonna take another round. Hey, even though that Uber was way worse for Rewind, you know, River did a great job keeping Banny in the air. They couldn't get any frags with it, and Rewind were able to clean up the fight because of it. And he coming in on to Shay. Oh, no, it's a good serve, but Etni on the chase, able to pick him up. No one really able to uh, take him out either, and Candy swarming onto point with that sniper down. Jacob forcing Kahlo to low HP. Watch back. Here. They're not going to get on the point. Not even going to matter. Candy able to just swarm in with the pressure they got off of that sniper pick. It felt like... Rewind needed to be a little bit closer, risk the sightlines if they wanted to hold that. Yeah, Rewind are just, they're, they're not the most coordinated right now. They're just not getting into the proper, you know, post push positions for defense. You know, they keep getting caught out, like Shay getting caught on the right side of that point. But uh, either way, back on the mid fight, Shay early snipe onto Benny. That's going to allow a lot of aggression here. Yeah, Jacob with a fast Ooh. B cloak coming in, takes out Chinatown. So even though Frags, oh no, River able to get in deep as well onto the KD combo. Nursey. Takes out Bull and Nursey, so. Lots of frag down on both sides, but they are heavily in Rewind's favor. So this should be their mid, but again, Team with swapping meds, sides here in Bathhouse. Yeah, we want to see. Chinatown has gotten the respawn, so capping this won't uh, end up mattering too much with the spawns. Nursey as well, it looks like. So, yeah. very actually, fast paced, pick class focused uh, mid fight there. Both spy snipers and uh, flanking pyro got a lot of important picks. The China. Uber's being close here. Will yeah, make. Yeah, China wasn't healing when he spawned, so it yeah. could have been a potential add. Going to actually be a slight dis add in the favor of Nursey now. Um, getting Arch of Spain yeah. is going to press. You know, let Candy press even more forward with this drive push. River getting sniped by Comanglia. A lot of sniper picks coming through. Bull gets Carson. This should be straight back off from Rewind. They need to get uh, Chinatown out alive here. Edney's going to bomb in very soon. Yeah, Chinatown is pretty far out. It looks like, and after maybe just finding that, uh, finding that kind of. Baffled that worked for them in the second round. KD really just finding the momentum here, walking in pretty much even situation, able to just force rewind off the point through spam alone. Yeah, Rain managed to kill Banny, but the whole importance right now is on this bath hold. Nursey does have a small advantage that rewind need to force out. They will have Uber very shortly, so we gotta see how this goes. Spy in gets Pablo. That's the scout down for this push. Nursey still has this Uber, and the point is getting edged anymore because there's no scout. Yeah, River getting taken down as well means that there's nothing to deny that Uber or spam should have come in. Tsukima gonna get sniped out, so Shay doing his best to help some uh help his team get back in on this point. Not gonna be enough though, it feels like. Yeah, but the rest scout of his not team being able to edge him. here is so important. Arts has to try to edge by himself. Pablo get taken down on respawn again, more no more scout for even longer to edge this point. And they can't get any cap time onto it. They can't force this Uber and they can't edge it to force them to walk out. 
yeah, and just, you know, the battle. I feel like, okay, Shay, there, there we go. I was going to say, I want to see trade an angle into there. Yeah, the demos, though, will be traded out, unfortunately. River getting in, though, going to try Carson to... trying to edge with the fists, but it's not enough. They really need to just edge this to force Candy to pop. They still haven't popped the super. They've been holding it for, seems like, a minute and a half at this point. Yeah, Rewind, it feels like, is so stuck on these left stairs, not willing to commit to going far right. XM committing... Pablo up here. They should be able to edge this now. Yeah, I wouldn't even mind seeing them just take an Uber, the Uber into Bab, but no, Candy's going to force out. China has the better Uber here. But uh, he's gonna be forced to flash, barely a saving Axel from Tsukima. Yeah, Tsukima doing a good job of forcing that Uber back, not allowing the uh, offensive player Watch to get forward. Watch for Nursi taking Space Ghost here. They are all low within mowing distance for Space Ghost. Yeah, he, will, he is gonna back off though, since his danger, and with a lot of cap time on the point, Rewind should come down with this, but again, just takes them so long to get in there. Probably gonna go down again three in a row! That's just, oh, that's evil Pablo and Carson going down. Axel is gonna fall soon after Space Ghost, you know, Deciding that Ruin's yard is his own territory, and that cap is going to be extremely short-lived. I want to say that it was about 10 seconds or so off the clock for Rewind before losing it. That Uber gets the award for most valuable Uber because they got a whole minute and a half of value just by sitting there with it. They, because Rewind couldn't edge the point, Candy weren't forced to leave Bathhouse with it. Yeah, no, I mean, I don't know. I would have liked to have seen them just take an Uber into Bath. You know, solo, even solo River get all of those people in Pablo's there. Pablo's dead Nursi again. Yeah, Pablo not able to stay alive. Shay gonna find Bull again. It feels like this is a recurring trend, but... And then coming in, like uh, Shay right back. That is the trend. Yeah. Avengers is, Avengers is a teammate. Lots of cap time coming in for Rewind, but... But they're not Fanny, forcing this Uber. Yeah. Banny walking forward just means that they're not gonna be able to finish it off. And the 30 seconds left for K&D. Hard speed of desperation. Yep. River in on Nurse. He gets that Uber force off and the cap as well. You need to be careful not to drop too many as the Uber comes out, but China dropped Pablo here to Space Ghost. China's all he's alone. He's got no one to Uber. Oh, he's, he's got a flying heavy. He's gonna find his heavy, but really no frags going in. And I don't know if that was just misjudging the damage or what, but here comes Etni onto China. Gonna take him out. And uh, Carson hiding in main, gonna take out Etni before going down to the revolver. These things are not going well for Rewind here. So it was, it was a big play from River to force uh, Banny and Nursey off the point, so they got the capture before the Uber came in, but then Chinatown just can't find anyone to actually Uber, because their pyro sacked, you know, force it. Yeah, and actually, no, we do see, oh no, Pablo's gonna get taken out from Space Ghost on his own Can they get bats. to the point in time? It's, yeah, no, they're it's on it, and it's Sniper. Shay, it's Med and Sniper, and Nursey's oh, Nursey, the only Nursey's one. Going. And for Candy going in, gets one saw, gets Nursey Uber Jacob. off of it! <laughs> Uber the spy, Uber the spy! Oh, no, the Uber's getting it popped off. She's extending onto Jacob, and oh, this is great. This is quality action we are seeing here. Nursey Another kill for Nursey on the river. She's fragged out the 11 streak. Some of those are assists, <laughs> but on the, the emphatic nail in the coffin as KD will take Lakeside in the 3 1. You know, dropping around in the beginning there, seeing a couple close rounds, but. You said Nursey was on an 11 streak? Yeah, great. You know that that yeah. includes assists, but yeah, yeah. We saw but probably it's because they they three couldn't kills. you know force Candy to leave Bathhouse because their scout kept dying. They couldn't force them to stop the point capture. Either way, very controlling after the, after the first round by Rewind, Candy really managed to fight back with that Bathhouse hold they started using, and they were really just able to control the rest of the map from there on out. Yeah, it really just feels like you know whatever scrims Rewind had, they never had to worry about kind of pushing into Bath against the team better than them, you know. Yeah, they but were normally the ones holding it. They were so devoted to holding on those, you know, like, Bath side stairs, they, but they never decided to, you know, maybe go up into Bath, try an Uber right in there, right? You know, you get River, or you get Arts, and you take an Uber in there, and if there's eight people in that Bath house, and you take a solo or a duo Uber, and you're going to force so many flashes, you're going to get so much damage across that you have a really good chance of winning that post. Instead, it feels like they held in what was the worst situation, you know, the worst spot for them to hold where, yeah, they're not in Comanglia's sightline, but they have no real opportunity to actually get in on point. And K&D just able to, you know, comfortably sit in bath, no real worries. Shay coming in was sniping out Bull, maybe causing a couple of ripples in the water, but... He got Trader right back, and then Comanglia still has free reign. It was so hard for Pablo to actually get presents, because Bull had free spam when he wasn't sniped, and then Comanglia was always watching it. Yeah, and if we want to look at logs, work there. if we want to look at logs from that last half, Nursey, 4 and 7. Over the four rounds, not one of those positive KDs we see out of her sometimes, but still very solid. I mean, Shay having a good game, but River actually having a surprisingly good game. I believe he tied for top frag, actually, with Comanglia, and uh, only nine not, only nine of those were on Jacob. So it wasn't one of those, you know, 15 spy kill pyro top frag. So he definitely had a good game, but just Space Ghost also coming in on the heavy with the third frag, kind of 
proving the naysayers wrong, but just a dominating performance out of K&D, it felt like. Yeah, definitely. Once they got their bearings, they were really just able to roll that map over. Arts of Spanion, like you said earlier, he didn't really have that good of a uh, a, a map. Much it was very hard to get spam on bull because how, how aggressive he's able to play. But the fact that it was they just never really had presence to push bath, whereas Arts really supposed to spam. If you tried to peek bath, he'd get piped and shot by Kamanglia. Yeah, I mean, I want to say too that. You know, at, uh, Pablo holding his own against Banny here, slightly worse stats, you know, 21 and 24. The Banny's 24 and 20, but when you're losing, you know, in a bit more of a one-sided affair, actually the frags being significantly further in K&D's favor on Lakeside as compared to Asheville, despite the round score not, you know, or despite the round score being closer. But uh, other than that, most of the uh, players on K&D were just outperforming their counterparts, other really than River. Yeah, and obviously there's small discrepancies, like uh, when you th look at Banny and Pablo's frags and damage, same with uh, the Spies, obviously, that's just how Spies going to be. But uh, it really is just is how Candy decided to hold and how they decided to push. Because uh, whenever Candy needed to force an Uber, they always got the Uber forced, and Nursi very rarely died on the back end of it. Uh, Rewind just couldn't manage the same thing, so they just lost the Uber economy. Yeah, and it felt like there were some of those really questionable pops coming yeah, out of Chinatown a couple times help. on both maps, really, more so on Lakeside than on Asheville. But you gotta you know, you gotta wonder in that double overtime, I think it was in the second round or so, if he hadn't forced when he did at that one juncture with the engineer and the, the heavy on point, you know, maybe they have an Uber for later on. Maybe they win that round and we're still playing round five right now. Yeah, Granted, and you can you know, argue he might be scared, you know, he might not fully trust his uh team to get the players off of him. But when you're down by that much, you have to make the decision that we need this Uber if we want to come back and win the round. Because at yeah, and at that point too, most of the sack was already over. You know, you're not going to find Nursey on that Uber. She's going to be, you know, she'll have she'll have hightailed out of, out of the situation already. So even if you do pop, you know, you're saving maybe ten seconds that you would have had on a respawn if you had just dropped there. But in comparison, if you don't die, which honestly he really wasn't likely to, he was at about one ten. And he had an engineer and a heavy on him, the engineer who had just been penciled by a soldier rocket, so you know he's one shot away. You know, worst case scenario, if the heavy keeps hitting you, yeah, then you force. But again, it just felt like it was a little early, a little too safe out of him when you really need to take these risks if you want to take rounds off of a team as strong as K&D. Yeah, and uh, the score is misleading, obviously, more so for Asheville. But uh, the game definitely was close, and I do think both teams have a lot to learn out of this, as well as all the viewers. Basically, you know, I think that if this is our grand finals, you know, pre uh, prelude with these teams being very strong in comparison, then I think we have a good basis to look back on for how they're going to play, you know, that eventual rematch. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes you see games like this that are really back and forth on cough, but they have this really sloppy feel like both teams are just losing players left and right. To, you know, like peaking sight lines a little too much or spies are going off. And while the spies were going off on Asheville for the most part, it felt like this game was so back and forth Makes because, the team, for spy, yeah. because the teams were playing a lot, because the teams were playing so strong, they were taking advantage of these small, you know, windows they were getting, you know, using them to bully out another team, take point back when, you know, sometimes you're looking at how are they able to do that? It's 9v9. You know, why why is Rewind able to walk forward on Asheville against K&D? And win that fight, and they're just taking positioning advantages, slight advantages in damage, you know, the ability that they know their spies behind and try to coordinate something. So ultimately, yeah, really close match. Score is misleading. And uh, yeah, as you were saying, if these two teams meet again in playoffs, you know, should be a really good rematch to see how far both of them have grown. Yep. And I think that's, I mean, that's most of what we can say. We got a lot of good analysis in there. But yeah, absolutely crazy match. If you're just joining us, uh, Definitely go back. Try to watch the VOD. It was a uh, great match. Asheville was ludicrous at just how back and forth it was. Players, you know, dying left and right. Point being capped really often. Yeah, and, uh, a 3-0 with seven minute times on every round. Yeah, that's, that's something that you do not see often in the slightest. But uh, I guess right before we wrap things up, Zag, any, uh, any final words? Uh, I'd like to thank RGL for having me on here. Uh, I'd like to, uh, I want to ask for feedback on the whole color commentary style. Because I don't know how much more I'm going to be casting. Uh, it's kind of like uh, exoschedules people based on their availability. But uh, I do really want to try this whole color style. So if you have any feedback, you know, I'm open to hear it. And uh, really glad I got to cast this match. It was very good. And, uh, you know, shout out to Dolphin for being behind the scenes. Love you, Dolphin. 
and yeah, the hearts in the chat for our cameraman. And yeah, if you're watching this on YouTube as the VOD, you know, still leave those comments for Zach and for me too, you know, because we're always looking for feedback, always looking for ways to improve. Um, before we close things out, I do want to bring up the giveaway that RGL is doing. We have a giveaway going on for, you know, all the players helping us have such a great first season. So type exclamation point giveaway in chat. Find out a little bit more about that. $400 in prizes being given away. And uh, yeah, I just want to you know give a shout out to both the teams for coming out and playing so hard and giving us a great match to watch. And as as Zag said, Dolphin for coming back in and uh, having production be as smooth as always. So hearts in the chat for him. And I think that's going to do it for us. I'm Alto, joined by Zagron and Dolphin behind the scenes, and we'll see you next week.